Hello, my name is Deathmatch. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a button that places an object and can only be used by a specific group rank. Now this is actually a question I got in my comment section on how to make a button in Roblox Studio 2020 from Everything Aubrey. And to be honest, I actually don't have much experience with groups. So this was a great learning experience for me and I hope that you guys can learn something from it as well. All right, the first step is to go to your workspace and insert a script. You can do this by right clicking on workspace, insert object, and then click script. All right, now in that script, you're going to want to type the following, game.players.playerAdded, colon, connect, function, and then player in these parentheses. Next, you're going to want to type local player folder equals instance dot new parentheses folder player folder dot name equals player folder player folder dot parent equals player local is in group equals instance dot new parentheses full value is in group dot name equals is in group is in group dot parent equals player dot player folder is in group dot value equals false if player colon get rank in group parentheses all right now you're going to put the group ID into these parentheses so in order to get that you're going to need to go to the top of the URL. In my case, I'm using Stylus Studios, and you're going to find the numbers in the URL, copy those, and then paste those into the parentheses. Equals equals. And this is going to be the rank that you are in this group. So. If you own the group, you will be able to see this. In my case, I had guess, which ended up being number one for the lowest rank and 255 for the highest rank. It may be different for the setup you have. If I do find another way, an easier way to do this, I will go ahead and pin that in the comment section below. Then, is in group dot value equals true. There we go, we're actually done with this first script. Now what you're going to want to do is get a button. I will leave the a link to the tutorial of mine in the top right of this vid right now. And now what you'll need to do is go to the button and click on script. We're going to be editing this script. Now before you do anything, remember to type PLR in the parentheses in the function. Otherwise your entire script in this will not work. Alright, now type the following. If PLR.player folder dot is in group dot value equals equals true all right now this is going to be where you have the event happen if the player is part of your group so if you want a door to open or you want an object to be placed or you want something in their backpack it'll happen here all right, now what you need to do is grab your object that you want the player to receive. This object must be put into replicated storage or lighting. In my case, I'm actually going to be using replicated storage. All right, now we're going to continue to code. So local sword clone equals game dot replicated storage dot classic sword colon clone parentheses 
sword clone dot parent equals plr dot backpack. Now, if you would like something to happen if the player is not part of your group, then what you're going to need to do is type if plr.playerfolder.isngroup.value equals equals false, then, and what I'm going to do is just change the button to red just so I can know it works. When you are coding, you need to be very careful about capital letters. In my case, I forgot the capital R in rank, and therefore my entire script did not work. When I click this button, I will receive the sword in my backpack because I am a member of the group. If I'm to go and change the, the rank that you are required to be in the group to two, which I am not, then as you'll see here, instead of receiving the sword, I, the button actually turns red. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I really enjoyed learning it. So thank you, everything Aubrey. All right, and I do actually have a question for you guys. What is the Roblox game you are working on right now? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll choose one person to shout out in my video. I know I don't have many subscribers, but I feel like a shout out's a shout out no matter what. All right, so if you guys did enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe, and remember to always keep your mind set on your goals and dreams. Anyways, have a great day.